Hey guys and welcome back to the channel Platinum Bricks 95 and we're back again with another thoughts and opinions video. So then guys just before we do dive into the meat and potatoes of this video if you would not mind doing me a massive favour and clicking two buttons. If you could smash that like button it would be amazing as it really does mean a lot to me and helps me out here on the channel. And also if you're not subscribed maybe think about subbing to the channel as I'm like 7 away from uh, 900. That would be amazing but obviously if you don't want to I do totally understand. So then guys, let's jump into today's video, which is all about the LEGO Marvel CMF Series 2, which I'm very late to the party on. But basically what I'm going to do here is show you the pictures of all the CMFs. You've probably seen them all, but I'm just going to give you my thoughts and opinions on the wave overall, as I'm obviously a massive LEGO Marvel fan. So yeah guys, I guess the only thing left to do is jump right into looking at the new LEGO Marvel CMFs. So then guys, here are the new LEGO Marvel CMFs and they are LEGO set number 71039 Marvel Minifigures Series 2, retailing for a price of £3.49 each in the UK. 12 new characters are included and these will be releasing on the 1st of September. Also guys, just on a side note, this will be the first series of LEGO CMFs that are actually released in individual boxes. So no more blind bags, they're called blind boxes, which has gone down in the LEGO community like a lead balloon, which I'm not surprised about at all, because now we can't feel for all of the uh, minifigures that we actually are hoping to get, which is a real, real shame. However, do go and check out 1414 Falcon on Instagram, as he's actually done a wait uh, sort of list of how much each of these minifigures is actually going to weigh. The only downside to that, in my opinion, is no one's walking around the shop with uh, digital scales in their pocket. So yeah, I mean, there is a way around it, but it is a real letdown that they are actually going to be in boxes. Also, guys, just on a side note, this will be the first series of CMFs that actually releases a pack with more than one CMF in. As you can see from the image you're seeing on screen right now, you can actually buy a pack of six random minifigures, which I do think is very cool. However, I can't find the price for this uh, in UK prices, but I've got the price here for America, and it says that you're going to get a six-pack box for $29.99, which makes no sense to me anyway, because, it, well, in the UK anyway, you can buy six of these minifigures for just under £18. So I don't really get the pricing there, but it might have got lost in translation. So yeah, anyway, guys, you can buy six of these in one go. Right then, guys, well, that's enough of the boring stuff and all of the details and number crunching and all of that boring stuff. What we have here is the thing you're actually here for. Here we have all of the minifigures. So going from top to bottom, left to right, we do have Mr. Knight, Hawkeye, Goliath, which I'm assuming will be in a What If episode. We have Storm. We have Wolverine. We have Echo, we have Agatha Harkness, then we have the Werewolf. Then on the final line, we do have Kate Bishop, Beast, She-Hulk and Moon Knight. So then guys, those are the 12 new LEGO Marvel CMF Series 2 figures that you're going to be getting. I guess now we'll take a closer look at each one of them. So then guys, here's a closer look at three of the 12 minifigures. Obviously from left to right, top to bottom, we do have Echo, Goliath and She-Hulk. Now, I can 100% say Echo is a brand new minifigure. This is the first version of Echo we've ever got in minifigure form. It's nice, but I guarantee, like me, you guys are probably thinking that's pretty low down on the list. And I do understand that. 
Then next to him, we do have uh, Goliath, who I can only assume is going to be in a What If episode. It must be, right? But it really does look like the Ant-Man from the Endgame wave. But it is what it is. I do think it's a very nice minifigure. However, the one at the bottom and in the middle is obviously She-Hulk. Now, this is not the first version of She-Hulk we've ever had. There has been one previously. And also, even though it wasn't called Goliath, it was called Giant-Man... We have actually had a version of Goliath before, but nowadays it's going to cost you like 40 quid just to get your hands on that. But overall with these three, I'm pretty happy. I don't, I think Goliath's my least favourite here. She-Hulk's probably my favourite, but I do think overall they're pretty good. So then guys, on to the next two minifigures. And here we do have Agatha Harkness on the left and the werewolf on the right. Firstly, I want to start on the werewolf. I think it's a very good minifigure, but overall I can see both of these actually being quite low on people's priority lists. However, I think the Werewolf by Night show, which I have only just seen probably maybe two, three weeks ago, my gosh was I missing out. Go and check that out if you haven't seen it already. It really is very good. And Agatha is one of the most... I wasn't expecting her at all in the MCU, and she just popped up out of nowhere, and yeah, she's getting her own show. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a huge fan of the actress who plays uh, Agatha. It's Catherine Hahn. Step Brothers, you know you know, okay? But genuinely, she's a great actress, and I am kind of excited for these two, but I'd probably say they are quite low on the priority list. So then guys, on to potentially, definitely in my top three superheroes of all time, we do have Wolverine. Now a fun fact about this Wolverine minifigure, it's actually probably the most frequent character, apart from maybe Hawkeye, it's probably the most frequent Lego minifigure character we've ever had. But for me, the minifigure's great, okay? All Wolverine minifigures are always good, they are incredibly detailed, and I will say this about the CMFs overall, they all seem to have incredible detail and i do really like that standout bit for me is that clawed up sentinel's head i think it's awesome and i know a lot of people aren't necessarily into the x-men but i am and i'll be honest the sentinels are terrifying so yeah it's good to see one of them decapitated with all the damage on their face but yeah wolverine's obviously going to be up there for me but i feel like the next few we're going to see are going to be much higher priority than wolverine but i would not be mad at getting wolverine so guys, we're now at the two minifigures that I am most excited for, okay? Anyone who's watched the channel for any length of time will know my affinity towards the X-Men, okay? When I was a kid, it was X-Men or it was no one. I didn't care about any other superheroes, I just cared about the X-Men. Now, obviously here we've got Storm on the left, Beast on the right, okay? This is the very first version of Beast we've ever got in Lego form, officially. Like, I had a knockoff version of Beast when I was made, I don't know, like 10 years ago. But yeah, um, I'll be honest, these are by far my favourite minifigures. Now, don't get me wrong, Beast is not the most detailed and all of that. However, for me, it, these are amazing minifigures. I love this new version of Storm. Obviously, all of the X-Men characters you are seeing are based on their cartoon shown uh, X-Men 97. And yeah, I just, I am so excited for these guys. Storm is undoubtedly my favourite from these new Lego Marvel CMFs. So then guys, on to the next two minifigures. And we do have, from left to right, Mr. Knight and Moon Knight. Now... Overall, I think both of these are incredible minifigures. I do. I think they're really great. Um, I especially like Mr. Knight. Here's the thing, though. I'll be honest. I think Moon Knight is the better out of these two. I'm more excited to get Mr. Knight because I preferred him on the TV show. That's all it is. I really liked Stephen uh, on the TV show, Moon Knight. I just thought it was brilliant. So, yeah, in general, I'm more excited for Mr. Knight. But Moon Knight is an amazing, amazing minifigure. In fact, both of these are amazing minifigures. So then guys, on to the final two minifigures. And of course, from left to right, we do have Kate Bishop and Hawkeye. Now, I did say about Wolverine earlier, he's the most frequent. But I actually do think it's Hawkeye. I think Hawkeye's had the most iterations over the years. However, 
this version of Hawkeye is by far the best, if you ask me. I think both of these minifigures really are stellar. I actually like the Hawkeye show. I know a lot of people didn't, but for me it actually really worked and I did really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm really excited to get both of these minifigures. In fact, I'm going to say it. I'm excited to get all of these minifigures, guys, okay? I just am. It's a shame that it's going to cost me a lot more than it should. Because if you bought each of these, if you bought 12 blind bags in the UK... You would pay £41.88 and you would get all the minifigures. But that's not how it works. So I'm going to probably spend double that trying to get all of these. But yeah, guys, I really like all of the minifigures that we've seen here today. All right, then, guys. Well, there you have it. That was a closer look and some of my thoughts and opinions on the upcoming Lego Marvel CMF series two minifigures i'll be honest guys i think this is a pretty good sort of clean sweep across the board yes there's some that i want more than others but i think that's always going to be the case and i don't think any of these are particularly lackluster i think the werewolf and maybe goliath and perhaps Echo are the ones I'm least excited for. Like, I really liked Werewolf at Night, but the minifigure's not that great. rest of them I can't wait to get my hands on. But, guys, like I said, this is quite... An, it's going to be an expensive month if you're buying these. I'm going to pre-order a box of these and hopefully get all of them. But, yeah, guys, I think overall they've absolutely smashed this series. So guys, if I could just ask you again to do me one massive favour, maybe two massive favours, depends how you're feeling, but if you could click the like button, it honestly, it helps me out so much and it really does mean a lot to me. And also, please try and uh, help me get to 900 subscribers and hit that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind, guys. Again, it means a hell of a lot to me, okay, guys? But other than that, all's been said and done, and it's at the end of the video. And all that's left to say is thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of the support you give me here at Platinum Bricks 95 And yeah, guys, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.